Hey guys, it's Dilly Grissy here, and I just wanted to do a quick little room renovation in my Dream Life LP. Uh, so for those of you guys who aren't watching it, I'll just quickly give you a heads up. This is the house I, oh, well, my sim self is currently living in. Uh, it's a beach house, it's pretty big now, and uh, I have two kids, another one on the way, and I've had three different baby daddies, two of them we had to kill off to get the kids trust funds and now one of them uh, we actually locked down here in the basement and got him to paint on easels to sell the paintings to therefore uh, make more money. And down here's also like a little mausoleum where all of their graves go. And then over here's the butler's room and the butler is uh, into my sim self. So it's, it's quite a happy, happy LP. But I was getting a few comments that Jack's room was just cruel and that he was a nice guy. And because we are having his baby that maybe I should think about making this area a little bit nicer. So now that Jack and I have agreed just to be friends, I thought that was a great idea. Uh, so I just thought we'd do a fun little room makeover video because why not? Why not have a little bit of funsies in The Sims 4 because that's what we usually do. So let me see here. I want to get some uh, nice bright lights into this room just to begin with, uh, just to see what we're working with. And we could continue with this Art Deco theme. Well, it's not really Art Deco, but like a contemporary Art Deco look and feel. We could make his room really, really nice. I don't know, ah, I'm, I'm not really feeling that one. I think maybe it should be like similar to the rest of the house, have aspects that is like the rest of the house. Uh, okay, so we've already got those walls. Maybe let's introduce some of the outdoor timber so at least he feels like he has a little bit of the outdoors in this uh, basement. So there we go. I think this door is pretty cool, so I'm actually going to leave that. And his bathroom is a little small, so let's maybe open that up a little bit and give him some nicer... Uh, like a nicer shower and stuff. Gosh, we are so nice giving our baby daddy something nicer to, to have. <laughs> Terrible. We have just killed off so many Sims and we've had so much fun killing them off. And I don't know what it is in The Sims 4, but we just, we've had a lot of different men to have a lot of different babies with. And you know, we've actually done a really good thing because the kids are now going to have the most amazing trust funds. And you know, I am going to find my dream man who can father all of the kids. So I do think eventually we should probably get Jack out of the way. Uh, but for now, you know, he can enjoy the good life down here and he can still go to work and make money for the family. So, you know, it, it's all happy. It's all happy. Now, <laughs> let's get maybe, uh, oh, we got a little problem. We gotta move this door. There we go. I was just thinking maybe we should use this for a change. I know it's a little strange, but I kind of like it. Yeah. I think that works. I think it works. I think it just works. Or maybe this is better. No, gross, don't like that. Oh, maybe we go with this. Also, I haven't done any real time building, like actual slow down building for ages. So this is kind of nice to just chat with you guys whilst I do this. Uh, oh, we could maybe, let's put the move objects on cheat on just like that. And I'm thinking maybe we get a little bit creative with this. Maybe we can, no, this isn't working. Let's, let's maybe get a console table and see if we can layer them. And that kind of could look cool. Does it look cool or does it just look weird? That is the question. Hmm, I like it. It's, it's different, it's unusual. <laughs> okay, we'll go like that. And does this come in any better colors? Ooh, I do like the black. Looks really nice. Ooh, that's nice too. Nah, it's just a little bit too light though. I think we're gonna have to go with this. I think we'll go with this and I think we can actually still go with this wood, but we need to move that. What's going on here? Oh, it just clips through at the back. Ah, you know what? I don't mind it though. I think they'll still be able to use it if it's forward enough. Yeah, that should be fine for the Sims to use. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's now get a little bit of a mirror behind here. Whoops, three mirrors, a little bit much. I do want this to still have 
the wood texture behind it. So I'm just gonna lift this up. So it's like one big mirror up on the wall. And The Sims can't use this um, when it's lifted up like that, but aesthetically, I think it looks really nice. So I'm gonna leave that like it is. And then we can put a little plant there. I can get him a little bit of, uh... oh my God, he needs toilet paper. You know what the worst thing is when the toilet paper runs out and you don't realize and you go do your business and then you're like, oh my God, no. And it's even worse when you're at someone's house and it happens. <gasps> oh, so terrible. Okay, I really like that bathroom. I think it's really nice, simple, unusual. <laughs> unusual. Oh my goodness. Kath and Kim is a TV show uh, that I often quote that's not well known internationally. They tried to make a US version of it, um, but the Australian version, the original version was way, 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 way better. Uh, I don't know what happened with the US version. They just didn't quite recreate it. Um, they like took out everything that makes it funny. I don't know. But I suppose the Australian humor is very different from American humor. So maybe they just thought, oh, people just won't get it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, one of the quotes from that TV show is, it's different, it's unusual, I like it. And they have this terrible Aussie accent and it's the best, the best. Uh, you know what, this wood isn't working, is it? It's not working because it doesn't go with the any of these floorboards. I mean, that's a different color to that. This is the this is the problem in The Sims 4 is matching swatches because so many of the swatches don't go together and it actually drives me insane to the membrane. Ugh. I mean, those go. Okay, we can use this one. Phew. I quite like the diagonal floorboards. I'm not sure why I don't use them more in builds. We should definitely use them more, but I just don't. Uh, okay. And for a nice bed, maybe we could go with a little bit of blue. It's a very, very matchy room though. In real life, I don't like things being this matchy, but I kind of feel like in my dream life, everything would be so perfect <laughs> and beautiful and just, just lovely, just lovely and matchy matchy. Uh, maybe he could have this bed. Yeah, I think this one's broken up a little bit more because there's more contrast in the white bed. And we'll give him perhaps a little side table. No, I don't like that one. Oh, he could have some suitcases. He's getting ready to pack and leave me. Nah, he wouldn't leave us. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Ikea tables. This just reminds me so much of Ikea. Let's go like that. Oh, lovely. We should get a little rug in here as well. Nice rug a tug tug. Rug a tug tug. Oh, we haven't used this much. This is one of the new ones that came with the athletic stuff pack. Oh, I love those green colors. Oh, that is a winner. My goodness, I've never seen that rug. I love it. Can we put that in the lounge room? <gasps> I'm obsessed. Okay, goodbye. Oh no, I can't reach the rug. There we go. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, let's maybe make that. Oh, no. Too, oh, it's too big. Nah, uh, I think it is too big, you guys. It doesn't look right sized up. Maybe we can just double them up next to each other. Like that, and space them out a bit. I think that works okay put those back together. And just so you guys know, I'm holding down the alt key and that allows me to place items um, even if they're not snapping to the grid. Uh, maybe we can make them two different colors. I like that. Okay, Jack's room has inspired the rest of the house. That's beautiful. And this wallpaper is annoying me these days, so we're gonna brighten it up a bit. It's a little bit too dark, you know? I wanna lighten things up. Brighten things up. There we go. Oh, actually now it's just like kind of sad because it's all, let's make it pink. Um, it was all like monochrome. Okay, so we've got the bed, we've got the side tables. Let's put on, I'll put in a little lamp. I want a lamp that is calming yet effective. You know, there's so many bed lamps that are just not good enough. You know, they just get in your way they get in your eyes when you're trying to read. They, there's two kinds of lamps. The lamps that help you read and the lamps that get in your eyes. 
like the, the, the brightness is too much. Yeah, I think lamps are underrated. It's so difficult to find a good lamp. And do any of you guys actually use those torches that you can clip onto a book and read? I've seen those torches around. I'm like, hmm, that's actually a good idea, but I feel like I would never actually use one. This is not gonna go with the rug. Oh no, that's no, that didn't work. Oh, that's so beautiful. I almost want this room. It's so friendly and fresh. Such a nice beachy room for a basement. Although I definitely wouldn't like to be in a basement. One time in Italy, I was staying in Venice and um, we booked a place online, me and a group of friends. And the online, it looked super, super nice. But when we got there, it had no windows. I think it had one window that let in barely any, life, uh, any light. And I could not believe it, but I felt so claustrophobic. Like all I wanted to do was get out of there. It was really interesting, I guess, because I've never really been used to living somewhere without a lot of natural light. Like my mom always made sure there was lots of natural light in the house because that was her style, as opposed to something that was just like really cozy and dark. So I've, I've really struggled. I was just like, oh my gosh, why? <laughs> oh. But um, yeah, I don't know. Do you guys feel the same way if you're in a confined space like that, if you don't have much light or do you guys like it? Are you guys the type of people who always have the curtains drawn and are just happy like that? Okay, let's put his little easel over here that he can paint on. I like the one with the little bit, with the little bits of, bleh, I can't even talk, paint splodges. Damn, Deli's lisp is getting in the way. <laughs> Actually, fun fact for you guys, my lisp, I do have a lisp, which most of you guys would probably notice at some point. I do have a lisp and it gets worse when I'm tired. So if I'm pre-recording before a trip, usually my videos, you can hear it a lot more than at other times. I'm not that tired right now though. Uh, maybe a little bit. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Okay, beautiful. Ah. Oh. Couldn't have done a better job. Do we want to go with the blue? Is the blue too much? Are we matching this too much? Oh my gosh, it's such a hard decision. Real life, would I would pick that. The Sims, I kind of won't pick this. You know what, I'm gonna go with that. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, right? <laughs> Maybe Jack could have a dresser. No, I don't think so. He could have this. This is cool. I quite like that. I think that's really lovely. And you know what? If he's going to be down here in the dungeon a lot, uh, we will make sure that he has some activities and skills to do. He is a guy who probably wants to practice mindfulness. So I'm going to give him a nice little mindfulness uh, yoga mat down here so he can do whatever he wants. And do we want to have some fake windows? <laughs> we could have, oh, we could have those, um, oh, it's not unlocked. I was gonna say we can have those mirror windows. I know we can use a cheat to unlock them, but I don't, I'm not that keen to look up the cheat. Fake windows, you could have like these. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. I The fake windows seems a little strange, doesn't it? Like it doesn't quite work. Oh, I love these. I wish these were the same on each side and it didn't have that big block bit. I really would like that. Oh, well, I think we'll leave it like that. I think this is a nice room. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you wanna have more of these cute little videos where we just kind of have a little bit of a chin wag and make over a room. Anyways, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.